Right, so hi everyone. So we've got a new uh, owl brought to us here by Jean again. This one's a stunning female. And she's come all the way from Drax Power Station. So you can see here for, for the UK, she's a really quite dark female. A really beautiful bird. And we've got these wonderful fleck markings on the side. Now she was found on the floor next to a derelict farmstead that's all boarded up. We can't go in there and replace her back into the nest, but she's also uh, really quite thin. You can see here on the breastbone, she's really skinny, uh, but she's absolutely stunning. I mean, these wing markings here, she's a beautiful, beautiful dark female. So what's she, about nine weeks old again, maybe eight, eight weeks, nine weeks. Right, I'm going to head off and pop her in there in the nest box. So there we go, she's up in the tower now and we just have to really cross our fingers as if this works and uh, she wouldn't have survived the, the winter in the condition she was in. She was on the ground in someone's garden away from the nest and barn owls have this weird habit if there's a chick on the floor and a chick in the nest box they always leave the one in the floor and the one on the floor simply starves so it's important we've got this owl here so this is Drax I've just brought her down from the tower and she hasn't really put on any weight she's had plenty of food if anything she's lost a little bit of weight but she's got this discharge around her, her beak and I can hear in her breathing it's uh, a bit ruckly. So we're going to uh, take her out of there for now, which is a real shame, and uh, get her on some antibiotics. And uh, fingers crossed we get her back in here soon. Right, so I'm just going to get her cleaned up. Uh, both of her nostrils are blocked. So I've got to be careful here not to uh, damage any of her skin. There we go. So that's her cleaned up and she's going to go now to Rydale Rehabilitation to go on a course of antibiotics and uh, she needs a bit of extra care. So we've got Drax back which is really great news. Uh, she's been on two lots of antibiotics. The first one didn't really work that well. The second one has worked. She's so much better now. She's put on weight and she's looking really healthy. Uh, but she's looking absolutely fabulous and I can just feel by holding her in my hand she's put on a tremendous amount of weight. And uh, the body size, even when they're full weight, barn owls have this small, small little body here. Uh, so they're not a heavy weight by any means. But she's a stunning owl and we're really pleased to have her back now. I'm going to get her put back into the barn owl tower and fingers crossed this time uh, she gets back out into the wild this time. But what a beauty. That night I watched Drax take her first steps into the wild. She hopped out of the box and onto the shelf. She jumped into the window to have a look at her surroundings. And eventually she takes to the wing and took her first flights into the wild. Over the next few days I followed Drax on my cameras, but it wasn't good news. As she came back into the tower there was clearly something wrong with her. She had discharge around her face again and she was acting really fatigued. Later on I saw her on the feeding post and her condition was getting worse. She had a very unsteady landing and her nostrils were getting blocked again. I knew I needed to intervene, but she was living wild in the garden now. But the following day I saw her in the log shed and I rushed in and caught her. And you can see by her conditions, her breathing's really bad and her face is all covered in gunk and discharge again. I knew she had to go back to Rydale Rehabilitation for some more treatment. So hopefully we get her back for third time lucky for life in the wild. 